All right, so welcome back. We're going to work through an example here. It's problem 5, 123 in the Hibbler book. This is not one of the homework problems, so just try to pay attention and see how we, we go through this process. We're given information that we have a, a power transmission of 30 horsepower. We'll have to remember what that means again. We're given also a speed at 600 RPM. So this shaft is rotating at uh, 600 RPM and transmitting 300, uh, 30 horsepower. And we need to find the max shear stress in the shaft. We also have a change in cross-sectional area. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about this. And we have the method that's joining these two together is this fillet weld here. And we're given the radius of that fillet weld is 0 0.18 inches. So what is the key information here? Why do we need speed and power in this radius? Let's think about that for a moment. We need to find that this, uh, we need to find what this torque is. What is this torque? Why do we need that? Well, we need to put that into tau equals TC over J. And then we can, when we look at the stress concentration, we're going to have to multiply that by K, and that will get us tau max. All right, so that's why we need this speed and horsepower. We also need this radius to find K. And then finally, we need these diameters to know which curve to look on for that J, uh, for the K calculation. So let's start with power. Remember from uh, lecture a few days ago, we had power was our torque times omega. What's omega? It's going to be 600 revolutions per minute. We're going to need to get that into seconds. One minute, 60 seconds. And that covers 2 pi. So this consists of angular velocity of 20 pi radians per second. All right. So then we have 30 horsepower. And we're going to multiply that by 550 foot pound, oh, foot pound per second per horsepower. So our horsepower will cancel out. So what is that equal? That equals 16,500 foot pound per second. All right. So then we finally go solving for our torque. Our torque here is power over omega. Just rearranging this equation here. So we have our power is 16,500 over 20 pi. So our torque equals 262.6 pound feet. So that means that we're putting 262.6 pound-feet of a torsional moment on this shaft at this location. All right, so then we're going to need that in our calculation for our shear stress, our average shear. So we're going to move along here. So what was that? Tau max. Tau max was that K value times our torque times C over J. And we have nice... Uh, solid shafts here. So J is going to be pi over 2 times our radius to the fourth. And again, we're looking at the smaller shaft. So what does that work out to be? It's going to be oh goodness. So it's going to be pi over 2 inches to the fourth. We're just cubing one inch, or putting one inch to the fourth there. C in this equation is going to be the same as our radius, so one inch. And K, let's go back to our shear stress diagram, or our shear stress concentration diagram. We needed the ratio of D over D. In this case, we have 2.5 inches and 2 inches. So that goes to uh, 1.25 as our ratio, and then we need 
our r over d, and r was 0 0.18 inches, and our little d now is 2, so it's going to be 0 0.09. All right, so we're going to go back a couple slides to our diagram. All right, so we had r over d as 0 0.9, so we're right here. We're going to come up this line, and our Big D over little d was 1.25, so that's the second line in. So here we are, and they were they were nice to us. We were pretty much right on this line, so if we follow this line across, there we are. That's 1.35, uh, 3.75, excuse me. Oh, come on. So 1.3, 1.4, so this must be 1.35, 1.375. That's where we are. So we're going to bump forward a couple here. All right, so K equals 1.375. So now we're going to take all of this, put it back into that equation. So tau max equals 1.375 times our ten, uh, torsion was 262.4. Six pounds feet. C was one inch. Oh, I see a problem already. I've got feet here. I've got inches here. So I need to put 12 inches per one foot. So now our feet will cancel out. We'll get inches squared. Perfect. And then on the bottom, we get pi over two inches to the fourth. All right, so when we carry that through, what do we see? We see that tau max, just plugging this into our calculator, we get 2,758 PSI, or to three significant figures, that goes to 2.76 KSI. And we would care about that in a fatigue analysis. We may need to... Um, select a different material, maybe we need to modify this weld to make this ratio a little bigger, that would get us farther out on that curve and lower values, maybe we need to make this value a little smaller, uh, but any, in any case, now we have this value that we can compare in our design analysis. So walking through again, we need to calculate this. all of these, these are the things that we needed here, we needed K, we needed T, we needed C, we needed J, C and J we get very easily right from the geometry. We had a one inch shaft. T we need to use from the, the power, right? So that was power equals our torque times our angular velocity. And then K was a function of that transition. So that was a D over little d and R over little d. So those were the things that we needed. And we got our answer here of 2.76 KSI. Thank you for watching. Please come to class and participate in some practice problems and worksheets on this material. Thank you.